Hi, for today's class, we're going to be working with section 12.3a, number 8, which can be found on page 730. Part A states, given the following triangle ABC, construct a point P that is equidistant from the three vertices, which is A, B, and C, of the triangle. Explain why your construction is correct. So here I kind of redrew the triangle that you saw on the problem. And let's kind of think about what we know. So we know that if we want something that is equidistant from the vertices, we need to find the circumcenter of the triangle. And this can be found by circumscribing the triangle. So first we're going to make two arcs, or three just in case, from each side or vertice, and make sure that they're all more than half the distance. So we're just going to kind of draw lines so that we can know where they intersect. And what we are doing is we are going to be trying to find the perpendicular bisectors of the sides. And now we just have one more point left to find. Oh, if paper will turn with me. Perfect. So now using our straight edge and pencil, um, we're going to connect two intersections for each. So here we have <coughs> Um, these two, which is going to be our perpendicular bisector of side AB. And then over here, we have these two, which is going to be our perpendicular bisector of um, side BC. And then we have these two intersections, which is going to be our perpendicular bisector of side AC. And then here we have an intersection of all three points. So then using our compass, we are going to put the pointy end on point P. Let's just label this so we know what we're talking about. And we are going to make it the distance to one of the vertices. And then if we did all of our measurements exactly precise, then it should be very close. It should touch each side A, B, and C. So compasses aren't always exact. So we were just a little bit off here, which just means that our compass got a little bit shaky when we were making our intersections. So now part B 